What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. In this week's episode, we are going to take a look at another display case. As you can see here, this is the two-layer collectible LED display case. As one of my regular viewers, you might remember, a couple months ago I made a video on how to build a three-tier LED display cabinet for your diecast cars. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you will find it linked at the very end of this one. Now you might be asking, why did you buy a two-tier case when you could have just bought another three-tier case and maybe saved some money? Well, here's the thing. It's all about the width. You see, the problem with the three-tier case was that it's actually not that long. So you can basically fit only sports cars and supercars in that case. If you're thinking about fitting a 7 Series BMW, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class or an Audi A8, it won't be possible. Or, for example, old American Lincolns and Cadillacs made by companies like Sunstar or BOS. That's when I found out that the same company, which is KC Display Cases, or 999, also makes this product. Initially, I thought it was the exact same product, just for two cars instead of three. However, that is not true. You see, this two-tier display cabinet is actually longer than the three-tier one, with an interior length of about 34.5 centimeters instead of 27. And this length actually makes it also longer than the individually available triple nine display boxes for 118 scale models that measure about 33.5 centimeters, and which I have also reviewed in a separate video that you will find at the end of this one. And in that video, I compare the triple nine display cases to the display cases made by a company called Exclusive Cars, which are much shorter. So even those longer triple nine individual display cases weren't as long as the length provided by this two-tier LED display cabinet by triple nine, which is exactly one extra centimeter. This may sound laughably low, but this one centimeter made all the difference. Instead of my Maybach 62's front and rear bumpers scraping the walls of the triple nine display, this one extra centimeter allows it to sit comfortably inside this cabinet. And therefore, this cabinet will allow for the display of some of your longer vintage Lincolns and caddies that will not fit in the other ones. So like I said, you can even fit your AutoArts Maybach 62 or the Sunstar's W220 Mercedes S-Class Pullman. However, for those really long stretch limousines by Sunstar, like the 2003 Lincoln Town Car, the 2004 Cadillac Stretch Limousine, or the 1967 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 75 by BOS, you will need a custom display case. So just like with the other case, um, I'm going to build this one with you, just to show you how easy it is to set it up. But let's first take a look at what else it says here on the box. You can see this is ages 14 and up. It's USB powered. It's got LEDs. Which you can see right there. And unlike the three-tier case, um, this one does not have any separate LED lamps down here, but that's okay. It has a mirror back, and it even has a mirror bottom, which is pretty cool. You can see here, mirror base. Okay, well, let's take a look at the back. So here at the back of the case, you can see that we actually have a diagram which tells us how the case will look like once it is fully assembled. You can see that it has a USB port, a back mirror panel, the brackers in the middle keep that one shelf in place so that you can put a second car on top of it. And you've got these four posts, and then a way to slide up the front panel so that it'll open. And it's also stackable and it also has a light switch. So here you can read the features of the two-layer LED display case. The display case provides a dust-free environment for your exhibits, 
ready for lighting, illuminate your LED display case and brighten up your exhibits. LED lights are powered by a USB connection, USB cable is included. Transparent panels offer an excellent view of the exhibits inside. Removable front panel for easy replacement of exhibits. Mirrored back panel and mirrored base to offer an excellent view. And with an adjustable shelf. And here in these pictures you can see that you can either put two 118 scale cars or a whole bunch of Funko figures, these bobbleheads, or you can just remove the panel in the middle and put something really big here, like this Santa Claus. All right, let's get it open. Now this two-layer display case is a little cheaper than the three-layer one that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. This one cost me something like 34 euros, but that was because I purchased this during a Black Friday sale on CK Model Cars for a 15% discount. Otherwise, I think the standard retail price is like 40, but you might even find it for 50 on the internet. So now let's open the box and see all the contents. And you can see that we're immediately greeted with this instruction sheet right here. And this piece of paper basically tells you how to build this case in a couple of easy steps. At the very top, it shows you the components included. So what we got here is the display top, which is this part right here. And then um, we have the display mirror base, which is the bottom base, of course that has reflection. And then we have one back mirror panel, which is this part right here. We have one front clear window panel, which is this part at the front. Um, we then have two side clear window panels. That's this one and this one marked as C. And then we have four posts. Those are these plastic bits here that hold the box in place. Um, then we have one USB cable, which is used to power it, and then a clear panel, it's a shelf, and one paper ring, which is used for assembly. So we've got the back mirror panel, we've got the front clear window panel, we've got two side clear window panels, we've got the clear panel in the middle, we have one paper ring, and then of course we have two front posts and two back posts, as well as the USB cable, and the base and the top. And here you can see how the USB port works. Alright, so these are the individual steps. I think they're pretty easy to follow based on the illustrations. So the first step is to slide the posts into the corner holes on display base. Then we slide the included paper ring around the four posts for support when installing the panels and aligning top with post. Step three is to slide the side panels and the back panel down the slots on the posts. Step four is to align the top of the posts with the holes on the display top and then press the display top on the posts. Step five, the shelf is placed on the brackets built into the posts. And step six, you slide the front clear window panel up the slots of the front posts to fix front clear panel on the display case. Should be easy enough, so let's get started. So here we have the four posts. And this is, of course, where all your panels are stored. And now I have laid out all these individual parts for you to see. So we should have everything here. You can see at the very top, we have the top of the box and we have the base and over here, Inside this plastic, we have the individual um, transparent panels. So now that I've removed them from the packaging, um, you can see that this is the base and it has this mirror-like material. Now, if you look closely, you might see that there are some scratches on it, but don't worry, this is just part of a really, really thin plastic covering that protects the actual mirrored base. You can see it's right here where we can basically pull this off. That's what I'm going to do right now. Check this out. You see how reflective it is? Oh, wow. 
This is awesome. Okay, let me put that away. Wow, look at that. So clear. Not a single speck of dust. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these four posts onto each of the corners of this base. And you can see that right here, we have this little um, hole in place where you can basically push it in without any glue or anything like that needed. And you can see that this says back here. And that's because if you look at the other posts, you can see that it says front. So you gotta be really careful when you mount these four posts and you wanna mount the back ones facing away from you and the front ones facing toward you. So that's step one. Also make sure that that little um, semicircle is also showing towards you so that everything is positioned properly. Now you can see that I have mounted all four posts onto the base. Unfortunately, my um, box did not have the paper ring. So I couldn't like build one myself. So now I basically have to deal with these four um, posts not being parallel to one another. It's gonna make the building a little bit more complicated, but not impossible. So the next thing that I'll have to do is I'll have to assemble these glass panels. Now keep in mind they're not glass, they're actually plastic, so they're quite light. And you can see each one of them is marked with a certain letter, and that tells you exactly to which position you have to slide them in. So here we have the two side panels, and then that one should be the front one. Also, you'll notice that each of these panels is covered with the same protector film that you just have to peel off. So you can see that it looks quite scratched, but these are not scratches on the actual glass. These are just on the foil. So when you remove them, they'll look amazing. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, I think you get the idea. Right there. Check this out. Okay, so I will remove them and um, then I will just put them in place. See you in a bit. And here we go. Now I have assembled the two side panels and the reflective mirror panel at the back. And I also placed the top onto these um, four posts. It was a little tough, I have to admit, but you can see that the top has clear glass as well. So you can actually see into the display from the top. Um, but again, no screws, no glue, nothing was involved, just a little bit of pushing. And now you can see I've also placed the dividing center shelf. So the display is almost complete. And the last thing that I need to do is to slide in the front panel. Now the question is, how do I do that? Because if you look at the top of this display, it doesn't have any hinge. Like, it's just, there's nothing there. And that's because this panel does not slide in from the top. It actually slides in from the bottom, see? Like, there's nothing there to remove this, so how do I actually uh, mount the front? And that's because if you look down here, you can see that there's this little semicircle, like an opening, and you basically grab onto the bottom edge of the front panel via this opening and then you carefully push it a little upward and that's how you can remove the front panel so you just push it up a little and there you go see that's how it comes out so that's how the front panel can be opened and then if you want to close it again you put it in its place and you slide it down simple as that so this assembly took me about 45 minutes and now all of it is done. And I just open and close it that way, like I showed you. And we can put this beautiful display 
into any bookshelf or wherever you want to display it and your two cars or however many smaller ones that you want to uh, put in here will be protected now let me just show you the switch because this display has a switch that turns on the led lighting and it's right there it's a little plastic switch you can see here right there and um, if you press that the leds will turn on and to power it you can see the usb micro usb right here okay so that's it and once again here's a look at the finished product you can just see how bright everything is i think those leds at the top look amazing so thanks again guys for watching this video i hope it was helpful and stay tuned for another episode soon this is imperial diecast signing out